Hey loves, I am back with February Favorites and I'll be doing February Favorites by myself this month because Heather is under the weather. So um, I picked out the majority of my February Favorites, which isn't a lot, and then we do have one mutual February Favorite um, that I'm gonna throw in. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. The first thing that I wanna mention is um, a face product and it is the Sea Breeze Astringent and I have been using this every night after I wash my face and I cleanse it really well and I go ahead and do the astringent. Now I used to do this um, many many years ago and I stopped and then my mom turned me on to using the Clinique Astringent which I fell in love with um, but I just didn't want to spend the money on the uh, Clinique so I went to the store and I picked this up um, and I was like, I'm going to try it out again. And it has been great. It hasn't overly dried my face. Um, with the weather being so cold and stuff lately, um, I was a little bit scared because I know that it can be harsh. But it hasn't been harsh on my face at all the last month. So um, I would definitely recommend it if you guys have never tried it. Uh, it's really good. And if you have tried it and then kind of veered away from it, go back to it because you get a lot of product. And I think I paid maybe four bucks. Um, or so on this, but you get a lot of product and it's lasting forever. This is all that I've used and I've used it maybe since mid-January, so I would suggest it. Um, my next uh, February favorite that I'm going to discuss is also a face product that I love and I don't know why it has taken me so long um, to grab one of these babies, but it's the Cetaphil and this is also one of Heather's favorites for the month. Um, but it's the Cetaphil cream and it can be used as um, a face moisturizer or a body moisturizer, but it's amazing. And um, when I first started watching YouTube videos, everybody was using this and I was like, oh my gosh, you know, I want to try it out. So, um, I purchased it and I was a little bit skeptical because you know it is like a body moisturizer as well as face and I was like oh it's gonna break me out but it has been amazing very very moisturizing um, not overly moisturizing because I actually have a really oily skin and it hasn't been very oily on my skin at all it actually comes um, or it actually goes on really smooth um, and I just love it and Whatever I have left over on my fingers after I rub it on my face, I just rub it on my hands and it is amazing. So um, I would definitely recommend it. You get a lot of product. Um, they're always running sales or coupons on the set of field. Um, I actually bought this one and I bought a cleanser, which I haven't tried yet. So hopefully you guys will be seeing the cleanser in my March favorites. But as far as the moisturizer, I love it. I recommend it and I'm so mad that it took me forever to try it. So. It's going to probably become one of my Holy Grail products. Um, so going from more of the face products to now the bath and body type products. Uh, no pun intended because it's not a bath and body product. Um, but this little baby here has been wonderful. And I actually purchased this at HEB uh, by my house. But it's Dr. Till's Foaming uh, Bath Bubbles. And it's in the Eucalyptus Spearmint. But it is amazing. Now let me tell you, I have tried to not use bath bubbles every night in my water because I heard that it's not good for you and it will really dry out your skin. Um, so I don't use it every night, but I do use it maybe three to four times a week. I know it's hard to say no, but um, it smells so great. It's like a eucalyptus spearmint, um, like super fresh, almost like a masculine um, scent to it, which I love because I'm very attracted to like masculine scented like um, house candles and fragrances and stuff like that. So I really love it. It's very relaxing and I just put about a cap full in my bath water a couple times a week and I don't know, maybe it's mental, but I feel like it relaxes me. Um, so I, I recommend this. This was maybe like three bucks, three or four bucks and you get a ton of product. I mean, this whole thing is completely full. Um, they come, I believe, in, I think, another, like, lavender scent, but I've always gotten the eucalyptus mint because I'm just, I'm attracted to that scent. I love it. Um, so I suggest that for you guys. And then, um, 
I have to touch on this. I know it looks like it's almost gone, in which it is, but I had stopped wearing my Coco Chanel Mademoiselle for the longest. Um, and I put it on the other day because it, it has more of like a wintry, I feel more of a, like a fall wintry scent. And so I have kind of forgot that I had it and I pulled it out the other day and I have been addicted. So, um, Coco, Coco Chanel Mademoiselle perfume. I'm like, oh my gosh, where have you been all of my life? But, um, pulled her back out and I'm sure I will finish using her before the winter, um, season is over and then have to purchase another one, unfortunately. Well, I guess it's a good thing, but unfortunately with the price, you know, Coco can be a little expensive, uh, but we love her, right? Um, the next thing is um, my cocoa oil, uh, coconut oil, excuse me, um, and I've been using this pure extra virgin co coconut oil uh, on my hair. So what I would do is when I wash my hair and it's still damp, I will get a little bit of this and of course it is a solid at first and then after you get it and kind of rub it together the heat from your hands will um, turn it into a liquid and then I just put it like on the edges of my hair where it may be a little bit drier than like the root part and it has been amazing it's not overly drying uh, they say coconut oil is great for the entire body I haven't gotten that far with it yet but um, love it on my hair and it doesn't make it too oily because I can tend to put too much oil on my hair definitely during the winter so this has been just enough I also put like a little bit more on my hair after it's dry before I put like any heat like a flat iron or anything on it um, and last but not least I want to go ahead and mention this on my lips and I don't know if you guys can see it well because I'm actually trying to film at night I have to say that this is one of my favorites um, also for the month of February and it's called brazen berry it's 905 it's a Maybelline color I'm gonna try to put it up there so you guys can see it it has been amazing. Like I said, I have it on my lips now. And it's like a purple, like fuchsia color. And I have been loving it. Now, I don't wear it like during the week to work um, because I'm just a neutral girl like during the week. But like on the weekends, I have been pairing it with everything. I mean, I can wear red and I'll still put on my uh, purple lipstick. So I actually really, really love it. So, um... Thank you guys for tuning in to um, Crazy Love Cosmetics February Favorites, and I hope that you may have got some new products that you might want to try out for uh, the month of March. Thanks for tuning in, and I will see you guys soon. Love you. Bye-bye.